Alexander Bina here and today's episode will be about meteorological instruments. The short-term atmospheric condition is called a weather. An example is, today is a rainy day. The average weather of a specific region over a long period of time is called a climate. An example to this is, Baguio City is a cold city. Atmospheric temperature, pressure, humidity, cloud cover, wind speed and direction, and rainfall are some of the atmospheric conditions that are measured by the different meteorological instruments. An instrument where an airflow is detected, one can count the number of times a marked cup usually in red, passes in front of the counter in 30 seconds, then multiply by 2 to get the revolutions or rotations per minute, and can be associated to the speed of wind. Such device is called an anemometer. An instrument that is usually shaped like an arrow with a wider blade at one end so that it catches the breeze. This instrument should be placed in an open area where it can rotate freely and it tells you the direction of the wind. This instrument is called a wind vane. Many weather analyses include the measurements of air pressure for pressure systems and frontal boundaries. Pressure trend can forecast short-term changes in the weather. The instrument to measure air pressure in a certain environment is originally made from an inverted glass tube standing in a bath of mercury. As air pressure pushes down on the surface of the mercury, making some rise up of the tube, the greater the air pressure, the higher the mercury rises. Today, however, a more advanced technology are employed, but the instrument is still called a barometer. Humidity or amount of water vapor in the air is measured in this device. It has both a wet bulb and a dry bulb thermometers coupled together in a small housing unit. Relative humidity is determined by the difference of the dry bulb thermometer and wet bulb thermometer readings. However, today, there are a lot of modifications made to improve the efficiency of this device, but the principle of measuring humidity is still there. This instrument is called a hygrometer. An instrument that has a wide funnel leading into the cylinder that catches rain to gather and measure the amount of rain precipitation over an area periodically. This instrument is called a rain gauge. This instrument collects the fallen snow into its container. The melted snow is poured into measuring glass. This is a water equivalent of snow precipitation over a specific time. The instrument is called a snow gauge. An instrument that comes in a glass tube that contains a liquid, usually mercury or alcohol, that measures the temperature of the atmosphere that are significant part of weather forecasting. This instrument is called a thermometer. A radio sound is the primary source of data above the ground, which measures pressure, temperature, and relative humidity. A radio sound is attached to the weather balloon. An object that has been intentionally placed into orbit are called artificial satellites. There are two types of artificial satellites, the polar orbiting, which is covering the entire Earth asynchronously, or the other one is geostationary. These are hovering over the same spot on the equator, a satellite that is primarily used to monitor the weather and climate of the Earth is called a weather satellite.